Hi everyone and welcome to my Friday intermittent fasting progress report. Um, so I think this is the end of week four. I'll just get right to it. This week I am 71.1 so I have not lost, I have gained a little this week but that is okay. Um, I do have my child rearranging furniture around me so apologies if my attention is a little diverted. Um, so yeah, no weight loss this week, but I'm not deterred from continuing. I guess, um, what we have to remember with that is that weight loss, although it's frustrating and not particularly encouraging when that happens, we have to remember that it's, well, for me anyway, it tends to go up and down as it goes down. So sort of. It can be a little two steps forward, one step back, so it's fine. Um, but on, oh, Jenny. on that note, I did want to talk about um, the weight on the scales because I know this is something that is a little controversial and the purists will probably say that you shouldn't weigh yourself and that's fine, they're probably right. Um, weight on a scale is obviously arbitrary and can be determined by very many number of factors um, from day to day. So it's not, it's not really a true reflection of your health or your um, weight loss or anything like that. That said, I am someone who does sort of, can get encouraged when I see a drop on the scale and I guess that's just a societal thing like that's how my brain works um, and I think that, that that's okay to a degree because say you're trying to lose 10 kilos and then you know at one stage your scales say 70 kilos and then months down the track they, they say 60 well obviously there's been some fat loss in there I say obviously but then I know some people would would say no because it's possible to lean down and gain weight if you gain muscle and yes that is absolutely true um, I'm not doing any kind of strength stuff at the moment although I sorely need to um, so yeah I am using the scale but on that note um, I wouldn't suggest if you are using a scale I wouldn't suggest using it every day because I think that would just drive you nuts um, once a week is is good enough for me to just get a little indication of how things are going um, and the other thing I just wanted to chat about is keeping accountability so for me putting these videos on YouTube is definitely keeping me accountable I might have otherwise gotten bored of this already but because I've made the commitment to checking in I yeah it helps me to stick to my plan um, other ways that I've found useful in the past have been to stick a, a weight loss chart on the fridge so that your family can um, see what you're doing and just to keep you accountable Teaming up with other people can also help um, joining a group. I feel like when you go it alone, it's really difficult to stick to, to the diet. But then again, everybody's different. So I also will just chat briefly about how I'm feeling, even though I haven't had a weight loss this week. I feel really good on the days when I'm fasting. I've noticed that on the fast days, like today is a fast day, I've been awake since about quarter to six and it's now quarter past eight. The really deep hunger usually hits at about 8.30 and it's really intense and it might last five to ten minutes and then it goes away and then it honestly really doesn't come back. Just a minor toddler melt down there. Um, for, no, for no particular reason. Um, what was I saying? Something about keeping accountable. Um, oh, sorry, no, something about getting hungry. So, yeah, so 
the deep hunger hits and then it subsides through the morning and I'm okay through to 12 in case you're wondering and the last thing I want to touch on is breastfeeding while fasting this is something you definitely need to look into your, to for yourself but if you're a mum, which you may be, since this is a mum channel, um, and you're wondering, I've been doing the fasting three days a week, the 16-8 fasting for a month, and I don't think it's affected my milk supply. I'm still breastfeeding morning, night, and once through the middle of the night, and um, haven't noticed a difference, haven't noticed that he's feeding shorter length or that he's getting frustrated or anything like that. So. I don't think it's made a difference. Having said that, back when I was feeding more frequently or when he wasn't on solids, I wouldn't have fasted because I just wouldn't have wanted to accidentally jeopardize it or um, or anything like that. So that's the catch up for this week. Thank you for watching and I will do another catch up next week. Okay, see you later, bye. Where's the end button? Mm. Okay, bye.